What's happening, my Facebook family? We are live. Yes, we are. We're live, 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 live. So come on board. Come on board. Tell me some things. Tell me. Tell me what you're doing. Tell me where you're from. Let me get my thing to work here. Oh, there we go. Thanks. Tell me. Tell me what you're doing. All right. Come on, Facebook family. We got a big day today. Yes, we do. We've got a day to talk about some marketing. We're going to keep it simple. I'm going to give you one very important strategy. Um, and uh, you can understand the the ability for it to work, but I'm going to lay it all out for you. I'm going to talk about the difference in bandit signs. I'm going to talk about where you put bandit signs. I'm going to talk about how the back end of the bandit sign should be set up. I'm going to talk about the lead generation from, I'm going to talk about all of it and what you need to be thinking about and how to set it up. That's what I'm going to be talking about with you today. So come on board. Let me, you know how it is. I want to know where you're from. I want to know who you are. I want to know what your biggest real estate question is. I want to go into all of that with you today. So let me get some pen. I want to write some stuff. I'm going to talk to you and write some stuff. So listen, if you're just now joining me, yes, this is your real estate coach. This is Zach Childress. I am your real estate coach. We come to you live every single Tuesday at 1230 Eastern or 130 Eastern time zone. And we also come live every Wednesday at 130 Eastern time zone. Why? Because we want to bring you value. We want to help you guys get started. We want to teach you some of the things that are involved in real estate and how you can start to develop as a real estate investor and become more successful as a real estate investor, just identifying little things that you can fix along the way and that you can create in your business along the way. That is truly what this and these shows are all about. So, um, so come on board with us. Jump on on jump on I know we're literally like what a couple of minutes after the um, half hour so it always takes some people a few times to get on here but listen if you're just joining me um, uh, if you're just joining me I want you to um, uh, always tell me who's on here tell me where you're from the other thing I want to hear from everybody is if you're new to our show if you're new you've never been on this show before and you're listening for the first time or you're listening for the fifth time or you're listening for the sixth time I mean that's great I mean we have some people that have been with us for a year um, and we have some people that have just joined us in the last 30 days or in the last two weeks and I think that's powerful when you think about um, the momentum that we're creating and, and I'm always kind of competitive so I like like to um, I like to kind of beat other live streams we've done and in our you know one of ours we had like hundred and eighty comments so now my goal is to create like 200 comments that we can help answer questions and and make things a reality but as you all know my biggest thing that I share and I ask from you guys as you watch this is to really share the message share what we're teaching share it with people in your life share it with other investors that may need help getting started or where to go or where they need to be you know I call it making ripples right um, if I can affect your life and you can affect other people's lives then we're creating ripples together and my goal is to create this community of real estate investors where we have a safe place to come to we have you know a sounding board to talk and throw ideas off and that's why I do this is for you guys to be able to get real information from a real investor that's a real coach that can help you guys build your business model and so that's why I do this so listen you're jumping on board there again tell me where you're from give me a hi say hello put your comments in I want to know if you're new if you've been here for the first time or if you've been here many times you know you know how I am if you've been here before say hi to the people that are new uh, let them know that they're welcomed here let them know that we appreciate them let them know that we want them to learn here and you guys that are already my fans and my students and my followers you know how I am welcome 
everyone that comes on here because together we can make a movement and create this community together and that's what has more value to me than anything so so listen if you're just joining me yes this is zach childers your real estate coach and this is your real estate investing talk show and i've got the lovely jill here to support say hi jill hi jill <laughs> say hi jill again hi jill <laughs> Gotta love Jill. She's always here, bright and bubbly, ready to take on the day with me. You know, some people say they have a right hand man. I got a right hand woman. Yes. <laughs> and left hand sometimes. And left hand. You name it. I need it. It's all about help, right? Support, support, support. We can't do what we do without support. You can't do what you want to do without support. That's why we do these shows. That's why we bring to you the value that we bring to you. So share the stream, guys. Remember, hit the share button. Get the message out there. Tell others we're going live today. We're talking about one form of marketing. And that one form is super easy for any of you to do. It's called Bandit Signs. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Yes, I'm also going to be doing the blog, talk, radio, um, and our podcast. So um, I'm going to share with them the same type of stuff I'm sharing with you. But you guys get the benefit of being able to ask me direct questions. So don't be shy. Put your questions in. If you need to know something from me, I am here to help and coach you. So listen, if you're just joining me and you don't have my new book... You better get it. Where do you get that book at? Well, you just need to go over to myfirstdealplaybook.com. Go to myfirstdealplaybook.com and get yourself a copy of that book. And that is a starting ground for anyone in real estate. It'll help you understand what you need to do, where you need to go, and all the good stuff that goes along with that, okay? Now, the other thing I do want to bring up for those of you that are just joining me, if you haven't gotten registered, we're almost out of seats. Um, that is my live event that I'm going to be teaching in Dallas, Texas, November 10th through the 12th. Yes, it is the last event I'm doing this year, and we're already almost out of tickets. I think I have one gold ticket left. That's it. I got one gold ticket left, a few silvers, and I literally think we're only down to like seven general admission tickets left. Like, you know, we cap our events. We don't let two and 300 people come into them. We like to stay around that 100 mark. Um, it's easier for me. It's easier for the students. We can actually engage and get to know each other. So uh, that event's literally almost sold out. We're still like a month away or something like that. So um, so get involved. Get on. Get on. What do you need to do right now if you want the book or you want to go to the event? You need to pick up the phone and you need to dial 707-247-4000. Four two four eight. The number's right there on your screen. Which way is it? This way. Bing, 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 bing. Look at it. It's right there. See how I knew that? Boom. Right there. All right, guys. I'm happy to have you here. Remember, we're here talking about real estate. Yes, this is your real estate coach, Zach Childress, and this is your real estate investing talk show. We're digging into bandit signs today. So with that said, we're going to get the radio and podcast up and running. So... We are going to go on air in five, four, three, two. Hey, this is Zach Childress with your Real Estate Investing Talk Show. And welcome back to another episode where we're coming to you every single week with information that's going to help you grow your real estate business. I'm excited for not only being able to help you and guide you, but I'm really excited about watching your growth. Now, if this is the first time you've ever listened to me on podcast or our blog talk, you need to listen more. You need to get over to our Facebook Live page so you can actually communicate and ask questions and talk. Um, you can do that at reisuccessacademy.com forward slash Facebook. That's reisuccessacademy.com forward slash Facebook book that's where we are that's where you get to be live with us ask questions and we would love to have you on that page and interact with you so so here's what we're talking about today for everyone and I'm, even my facebook watchers that are watching right now 
We are going to be talking about one of the things that have been around forever, and it's called bandit signs. And why are bandit signs of value to you as a real estate investor? What is a bandit sign? What do you do with a bandit sign? How do you get bandit signs? How do you create a bandit sign? Where do you put a bandit sign? What do you do with the lead that comes through a bandit sign? And what are the good and bad from bandit signs? That's what we're talking about today, and all the stuff that goes into it, and why you need to be paying attention to the development and the distribution of bandit signs one of the things is they're also they're they're buyer um, magnets for you as well as well as seller magnets so if you use them correctly you can generate leads on all platforms sellers and buyers and you should be calling all bandit signs okay so that's what we're going to be talking about today and so the first thing I just want to get everybody on the same page what is a bandit sign Sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? A bandit sign. I like to call them marketing signs, <laughs> right? But they have been known in the industry for years as bandit signs. And so a bandit sign, you've seen them. If you haven't seen them, you're not paying attention. I believe after this call today, you'll probably start to see them everywhere. But a bandit sign is literally the little white or yellow or blue or red signs out on the side of the road that say we buy houses or, you know, cash now for your house. Those are bandit signs. And people put them out for a reason because they absolutely work. The challenge is, is it, that most people aren't aware of is, are, is where you put them at is where you're going to get the best leads, okay? And these are called bandit signs, okay? So that's the name of them. So let's talk about that. So we now understand what a bandit sign is. A bandit sign is simply a white corrugated sign that says like, we buy houses, fast cash, and then it gives a phone number, right? It gives a phone number on there. That's usually what it has. And it's either, it's sometimes it's on a wooden stake into the ground, or they're on metal stakes, okay? Or they're on metal stakes. And so either way, these things are something that you're going to be doing. And the reason you do them is because it's it's one of the many lead generation systems. You guys have ever heard me talk, I tell you, you, you can't depend on one lead generation. You have to have multiple lead generations to get the best deals out of the market. Bandit signs are one of them. And yeah, we're, we're only talking about one form of marketing today because I want to keep it simple for you guys. I want to give you something that you can execute this weekend and actually start to generate something off of it next week. And so, um, so the purpose is, is why do we put bandit signs out? Well, we put bandit signs out because it is a way for us in an not an expensive way it's actually inexpensive to create a targeted message for a targeted area so let's talk about this a lot of people use bandit signs completely wrong they go out and put bandit signs on the busiest road they can find and the problem with that is is you got to realize that this is a little sign and when people are flying through town maybe going to a city next door or even down the road they're not slowing down enough to read the sign you almost have to put three four five or six of them back to back to back to back over a half a mile so that people start to see it see it see it see it and then start to recognize the phone number you know but the other side of that is it's not very targeted and so it's a mistake that a lot of people make when they're putting bandit signs out is they're they're putting bandit signs out in the wrong areas okay and so therefore they're not getting the leads that they need which are distressed properties or distressed sellers and so therefore they don't think they work or they're putting them in a major area where the traffic is so high that people can't slow down enough to actually see the signs and so therefore they don't call the number and therefore you don't think it works and so it's all about location right so there's three main things that we really need to get an identity on so it is we've talked about it already is why do we use bandit signs well the why is because it helps us 
find seller leads that we can't get off of public domains like the MLS, right? So these are signs that allow us to target private seller leads that need to sell, but they don't know about us. So the why is to attract seller leads, okay? So we need to know why we're doing it. The how is where we put them at, right? And we're gonna talk about the how, okay? We're gonna get into that in a minute. We're gonna write down how, right? How is all about location. So we're gonna talk about the how. Um, and this is really how do we put them out? So it's not just location, it's really process, okay? Then we need to talk about the type. What type should we use? So these are really three crucial points to what we're gonna discuss today, okay? So the why, we already talked about, to generate seller leads, okay? That's why we do it. We want private seller leads, and we can put some bandit signs out in town in the right areas, we're gonna get those private seller leads. And that's what's important, okay? Now when we come back, I'm gonna talk about the how, and then we'll finish up with the types of signs that we need to deploy. So um, for my radio listeners, hang tight. I'll be right back. Facebook, my face. I feel like playing music today, but I didn't put any on. Facebook. What do you got for me out there, Facebook? Jill, what we got going on Facebook? We have um, Kristen. She seems to be new here. Kristen is new. Welcome to the show, Kristen. You guys say hi to Kristen. Let her know she's in the right spot. We have Toby. Oh, Toby. Toby, I'm excited to see you in Dallas at the event. That's going to be great for you. Talon is back. Talon. Welcome back, Talon. Rudy. Rudy? No, I think Rudy was on here before, wasn't Wasn't Rudy on here before? Maybe a while back. Yeah, maybe. Well, welcome back. Awesome, awesome. Then we have Gerard. Gerard is on, and we've got a lot of other people coming on board, too. Hey, um, any questions so far? Uh, Toby, Toby said, I'm so excited. Toby, are you excited about Dallas? Rudy says first time. Oh, Rudy, first time. Hey, say hi to Rudy, guys. Tell Rudy, tell Rudy you appreciate him being on here. We 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 welcome you, Rudy. This is the place to be, okay? What other questions we got? They're actually pretty quiet. Um Toby says that she's taken several pictures and screenshots of the bandit signs. Yes. She doesn't say that she's called them though. Ah. What is this question here? Toby's got a question on here. What does that say? She said, oh, I answered that. She said, are you saying abandoned sign? Oh, gotcha. No, I'm not saying abandoned. Look at all that love coming across the screen right now. Man, boom, 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 boom. Got some hearts, got some thumbs up, got some love coming. I love when you guys react like that and some happy faces. That's what I'm talking about. Hey guys, this is what it's about. This is about you. Listen, if you're just joining us on Facebook, this is Zach Childress, your real estate coach, your real real estate coach. We're talking about bandit signs today and the why, how, and type so that you guys get a clear understanding of it so that you can deploy this in your business this weekend uh, and next week. That's what we do, guys. We bring you real value that you can actually do right now, okay? Um, and that's what I love about this. So, But hey, we also do in our blog talk and our podcast at the same time. So listen, tell me where you're from. Come on board, tell me where you're from. Tell me hi. Tell me if you got a real estate question. Type those in. Say, hey, look, I'm here. I'm from Denver. Hey, I'm from Dallas. Um, if you've got a question, put it on here so I can answer them during the break from the radio um, side of this thing. And I'd love to hear you, any questions you have. I'd love to hear if you need help with something. I'd love to hear anything I can help you with. You know, But be active with me and um, participate on here with me. That would be super. Um, the other thing is, is if you know about bandit signs or have ever heard them or seen them I want you to type in the comment section yes um, just type in there yes um, uh, just just so that I know that you guys know what I'm talking about um, if you don't know about bandit signs type in no so yes 
If you know about band designs, no. If you don't know about them, meaning you've never used them, you've never done anything with them, you, you don't really know what that process looks like. So yes and no's, yes and no's, yes and no's, yes and no's. Because I'm going to give you some tidbit information that will actually help you understand it a little bit more today. Because most people just talk about bandit signs and say, hey, go buy the bandit sign and stick it out there. Actually, that is wrong. That is wrong information. So, all right, let's let's kick it back up. All right. You want to go back on? Yes. Oh, sorry. We're going to go back on air in five, four, three, two. Hey, it's Zach Childress, your real estate coach, and I'm back. I hope you guys are soaking all this information in. If you're not jumping on my Facebook page, you need to be on my Facebook page. I'd love to hear from you. I know you're listening in on me on the podcast or the radio show, but what I want you to do is I want you to join me in the family on our Facebook page, reisuccessacademy.com forward slash Facebook. Jump over there so you can actually interact and ask me questions. Um, for those of you that are just listening in, one of the things we've been talking about over the break is, um, you know, some of the people that are on and, and, and the support they're giving each other in our community on Facebook, and that's something I want you to feel as well. But also, like, who knows about bandit signs and who doesn't know about bandit signs? And, you know, one of the things over the 16 years I've been doing this business full time that I have realized is a lot of people think they know about about bandit signs but they don't have a clue about bandit signs they they just stick them up somewhere and hope that they get a lot of success and that's not the way bandit signs work it's just not um, so the first session we talked about the why why do we use bandit signs what's the purpose of a bandit sign and um, just to catch everybody up the why is to find private seller leads that's why the other why with bandit signs that a lot of you are missing the boat on is that bandit signs can be very targeted um, and that has to do with the how okay the how and that's what we're going to move the second part of this into so so what is the how well the how is how we distribute it okay so listen if you're just joining me yes this is zach Childress, your real estate coach your real real estate coach and we do this show every tuesday at 1 30 eastern time zone we got all types of stuff we teach from um, calls equal results to deals needed to retire to bandit signs to driving for dollars to talking to sellers to structuring deals you name it we teach it on here um, to help you guys become better at your real estate investing business we also come to you live every Wednesday at 1 30 Eastern time zone that's our dig deeper episode where we dig deeper with an interview with an expert we dig deeper into a book review we dig deeper into a deal so that you guys get more more experience and more involvement into this business. I do this every single week for you guys because I want you guys to succeed and I also want you to understand that you're in the right place and that's why I'm bringing you value. So stay with us, join us, like the page. Um, if you're listening on the radio, go over and like the page. And remember, I'm all about ripples. I want to not just change your life, I want to change the lives of people around you. And the way that happens is you share our message. You hit the share button on the page and you get Get that message out there let other people hear how easy and simple this could be and how they too could get to their first deal by just getting my first deal playbook um, my new book that's out right now so all right so let's talk about the how what's the how all about so we've already talked about the why so let's talk about the how and then we'll talk about the type okay so the how once we understand bandit signs, how? Like, how do? What do we do with them? How do we put them out? How do we? How do we create? You know, something from this little white corrugated sign with writing on it, right? So the how, the biggest part of how is location. So let's say this is your city, and this is the major roads running through your city. Okay, major road means that that's the main interstate, inter interstate or main highway. This is where traffic is just flying through the town, right? So a lot of people put their bandit signs up on here. The problem with that is, is that's where you get the least amount of targeted traffic. So those of you listening in, just pay attention. I am drawing on a whiteboard. You could see it if you were on my Facebook page, but you know, that's why you need to be on my Facebook page. Um, but a lot of people put it here because they have a misconception that, oh, there's more traffic, I'll get more leads. Well, I promise you, you'll find out as you get less leads in this, okay? 
So then if you, if you understand what targeting and segmentation and, and clustering is, which is something we teach, we teach this at our live event, which we've got one coming up in Dallas, November 10th through the 12th. It's in Dallas, Texas. You will identify that there are certain areas in your town that are better for wholesaling through the clustering. Well, inside these areas, there's neighborhoods, right? And so you've got streets that run through these neighborhoods. Boom, 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 you know, boom. You got some streets that are running through the neighborhood. You have some loopy streets that go through, and you know, I'm about to sneeze. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> so once I've identified these cluster zones where I need to be doing a tier one strategy, I want to go out and put my bandit signs in these major areas, okay, where I know traffic has to come in and out of these neighborhoods. That's what I want to be. I want to be not on the main road, but I want to be in the entrances to these zones, the entrances into these neighborhoods. That's where I want to be. I want to be where everybody has to drive out of their neighborhood in the mornings on the way to work or when they're leaving work and they're coming home into their neighborhood where they see my signs. This is where I want to be. That's, that's the location. The other thing you have to understand is, is bandit signs work the best in the areas that I like to say are just not as sophisticated when it comes to selling properties. I'll give you an example. So if your medium home price is $150,000 in your neighborhood or in your city, then we want to target neighborhoods that are going to be between the $25,000 up to about $125,000, okay? I want to be as low as I can under the one hundred and fifty, which is the medium. These are the neighborhoods I want to put these in. See, here's where people make a mistake. They go over here. Whoop, let me not break my office here. They go over here and they start putting bandit signs in this area. And this is a $275,000 neighborhood when the average in the area is 150. You follow me? The problem with that is, is this seller, they're not calling a bandit sign. They're calling what? They're calling an agent. They're calling an agent to list that property. Uh, I know my guys probably like, speak into the mic. I'm speaking to you. <laughs> So this is not a bandit sign area. These are bandit signs area. If you want the best work or the best approach and the best success, you need to target these types of neighborhood. Well, people say, oh, well, Zach, I would never buy anything in a $25,000 neighborhood. Then don't buy it. Wholesale it. That's what we're talking about. These make great rental properties for a bunch of landlords, and I guarantee you there are landlords buying in those areas that are looking for more deals, and that's who you want to wholesale to. You follow me? I know Jill buys in those yes. areas. It's high cash flow. It's high rates of return. Just because you stick your nose up because you wouldn't live there does not mean that somebody out there isn't very, very excited about moving into their first rental house. They could be living in an apartment right now. You follow me? So you need to identify that. That's location. Now, the other thing is process. So what's the process, okay? The process to a bandit sign is simply this. You need to have, let's be, let's be clear, you need to have more than one bandit sign out, okay? If you're gonna put bandit signs out, at least put out, I don't know, 20 to 30 of them to just test the market. I mean, that's the best approach you could achieve with a bandit sign. But the other side of it is you gotta have a process, right? So what's a process? Well, if I'm, let's say I'm not gonna do it myself and I'm gonna hire somebody. Well, I'm gonna put an ad on Craigslist that says, you know, easy job, putting out signs, must have a reliable vehicle, and must have a phone that takes pictures. Why? Because every time that guy goes out, I'm gonna give him a map, right? And I'm gonna, you know, and I'm gonna have dots on that map where I want him to go and put bandit signs out. I'm going to hand them a map. I'm going to either have them come over and pre-make all these bandit signs. What does that mean? That means I'm going to have them. I use white corrugated bandit signs with handwritten messages on them. So I'm going to have them come, write all the message. I'm going to have them st stick the three-foot you know, wooden stake to the sign. You, we use roofing tack nails. If you know what a roofing tack nail is, it's 
the, it, it's the nail that has the nail and then the little orange or green rubber seal on the end of it. We use those because it holds the signs more stable. I'm going to have him put those together. I'm going to get him to put about 30 of them together. I'm going to hand him the map and I'm going to say, now go out and put these out. Okay. The beauty of that is, is every time he puts one out, I need him to take a picture of the sign with the street sign in the background. Not only what that does for me is two things. One, it tells me exactly where those signs are, but two, every time he takes a picture, I need him to text it to me so that I can make sure that I see his pattern of progress, right? So I know, okay, well, he started here and he ended here in that neighborhood, and I got a picture every 15 minutes. So now I've got a track of his time. Well, then from here to get over to here, I might not get another picture from him for 30 minutes, right? Well, then he's going to start putting them through here. And I'm going to get a picture every 10 to 15 minutes as he's putting a sign out. It allows me to create a process with whomever is putting my bandit signs out. And I can track that process through the pictures and the time in which they're coming through. So now I'm not just hoping that he's putting them out, but I have validity. I got value in that what he's doing, he's getting paid for. If you're doing it yourself, then that's fine. People always say to me, well, Zach, what about the bandit sign police? There are no bandit sign police. There's city ordinance that you have to worry about. But in some markets, they don't even, they don't come down on you. But here's what I tell you. If you're worried about it, put them out on Friday and take them down on Sunday. Okay? Put them out on Friday, take them down on Sunday. The biggest thing that they're going to have a problem with is you putting your sign on a telephone pole, which is what the city owns, and that's vandalism, okay? They also get you for littering. Um, so those are things that you, you, know, you might want to be aware of. But I'm here to tell you, bandit signs work. They work, they work, they work. Absolutely, they work, okay? Um, so what's the location? We talked about that. We talked about the why. We talked about the how. The biggest thing that I can share with you today is location, location, location. Uh, and then the process. How do you create a process from this so that you're not doing it? Get an ad on Craigslist. Put an ad out that you hire somebody for 9 to $10 an hour to, to drive around and put signs out for you. You know, it's a part-time business. Put them out take them down for you, put them out, take them down for you. Um, and that is a key to the process. So, so anyways, hey, this is Zach Childress. I'm your real estate coach and I'll come right back to you on the types of signs that you need to know. Facebook, I hope you guys are with me on this because I'm gonna talk about next is the different types. So listen, I hope for those of you that have put no down, or let, I mean, look, there's a lot more people that join. If you're just joining for the first time, this is Zach Childress, your real estate coach, and I'm coming to you with Real Estate Investing Talk Show. We do it every Wednesday at 1.30 Eastern Time Zone and every Tuesday at 1.30 Eastern Time Zone. It's important that you engage with us because I want to help you grow your business, I want to help you build a business, and I want to give you stuff every single week that will give you value so that you'll understand, hey, look, we're here to help. We're here to help. So listen, if you're just joining me and you're brand new, put it in the comment. Tell me hi. Tell me where you're from. Tell me if it's your first time. I'd love to give you a shout out and welcome you to the page. Um, Jill, we got anything on Facebook? We do. Rudy said, what is the most effective sign? We're going to talk about that next, Rudy, so hang with me. <coughs> the last part of today's show is type, and that's going to be about your question. Uh, we have Matthew here. He seems to be new. Matthew, welcome to the show, my friend. It's good to have you on here. Tell me where you're from, Matthew. Give me a shout. Um, Juan, he says he needs some help to get started. Juan needs help to get started. Juan, listen, if you need help to get started, why don't you just get take some free advice from me and jump on the phone with one of my student advisors. You can dial 707 two four seven four two four eight the number is right there on the screen dial that number when we're done write it down um, and tell somebody that you want to talk to somebody about how you can get started so angel and solidel are here awesome welcome welcome she said she's excited about dallas y'all y'all better saying y'all <laughs> Um, <laughs> Good to have you here, Angel. My, my, my New Yorkers. My New Yorkers are in the house. We have Gerard who says, how do I know about the city ordinance and where can I post? Can you post anywhere or is there rules? Yes, you can post if you listen. Here's the deal. Um, 
they don't want you putting a sign out unless you have what's called a sign permit. But I've been down that road. They, they have to qualify your sign. They have to make sure it complies. And by the time I got my sign back for compliance, it wasn't even usable. I mean, you couldn't use it. It, it. The whole purpose of a bandit sign is keep it short, keep it ugly, get people to call you. Well, they didn't like that. And the amount of money I had to spend for a, a, a sign permit was outrageous. So that's why when I lived in California, we just started putting them out on Fridays and taking them down on Sunday so that we didn't get any trouble. Now, here in the South, man, you put them up, you can leave them up all week. I mean, nobody really even removes them or... Nobody even cares. I mean, I, there's some bandit signs out there that, you know, have been out for months. So, months. Ariana is here. She says, hi, first time listening to Tuesday and Wednesday shows from South Texas. South Texas. What was it, Ariana? Yep. Hey, welcome, Ariana. We're happy to have you here. Hey, get my book if you hadn't gotten my book, Ariana. Um, that'll give you a great starting. Um, my first deal playbook. Jump on that. Good to have all the new people on here. Hey, if you're still just joining me for the first time, this is Zach Childers. This is your real real estate investing coach, and this is your real estate talk show. We do this every single Tuesday and Wednesday at 1.30 Eastern time zone. I'm here to answer your questions. I'm here to teach you some strategies. I'm here to work with you. I'm here to give you high fives. My, my fans, my students that are on here will give you encouragement. They'll welcome you to the show. Um, be part of our community. Create ripples with us, okay, Ariana? Create ripples with us. Get this message out to other people. People. Hit the share button, like our page, like this, make more comments. Um, get this message out there. Create ripples, create ripples, create ripples. So Solid L, she says, she actually is asking some Facebook advice. She says, also Facebook business page is the way to put your ad to. She can't run an ad on a personal page. Correct. That's correct. Um, she tells Angel, let's start with those signs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Gerard says, I want to hire someone like you said, but want to do it the right way. Hey, that's a great thing. So I always tell people before you ever hand off a process to someone else, you need to do it yourself first so that you can make sure you have your process down. Then you can hand it off to someone else and now they know exactly what you want because why? You've done it. So good, 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 good question. <laughs> Toby says hello to everybody. Everybody say hello to Toby. You guys will get to know Toby the more you're on here. She's a super, super, super student. She always encourages everybody to stay engaged. She's she's a she's one of those people that you want around you guys. She's one of them. Like her page. See what she's doing. Follow her on Facebook too. But everybody say hi to Toby. Give her some love because she's always giving everybody else love on here. Yes. We love you, Toby. Gerard, he says, can I put in an intersection to get on the highway that spot where you go, where you got to slow down and stop? I mean, you could. Um, uh, the, the, the question to that is, is it going to be the most effective? And are people going to pay attention to that? Or are they going to be paying more attention to merging onto a freeway? Right? That's what you got to think about. That's why I demonstrated the, the neighborhoods, coming into a neighborhood, leaving a neighborhood. That's where people are driving slower because, you know, it's 35 miles an hour in most neighborhoods. And they're not at that point to where they're like, man, I got to get on this freeway or I got to merge up on this intersection. You know, they're, they're getting ready, right? They're, they're leaving the neighborhood. And they're like, hey, what's that sign in my neighborhood? And then if they missed it on the way home, they're like, hey, let me check out that sign. You know, so, so that's why I'm... I'm a fan about location. Location is key with bandit signs. Christy is here today. Well, Christy, welcome back, Christy. We missed you last week. We missed you. We missed you. I was talking about you, Christy. We did. You got called out for not being here. <laughs> Can't coach you if you don't show up, right? <laughs> And then, so Rudy is talking to Toby. He says, Toby, I'm in the suburbs of Chicago, Bolingbrook. And Toby said, I love you guys, too. Oh, awesome. awesome. Gerard said, hey, Toby, thanks for the positivity. Man, that's right. Christy's the same way. She'll motivate you guys, too. She's a real deal out there, guys. She's making it happen. So, all right, well, let's wrap up with the type 
on the show today. Um, well, with the radio people, and then I'll come back. Remember, hey, this is Zach Childers, your real estate coach. Do me a favor right now. I want you guys to all type in right now, I want this. If you want to grow your real estate business and you want to do it right now, type in, I want this. I want to know how many of you are actually motivated to not just think that you want it, to, but to verbalize that you want it. Get it out there. Let people know, I want this. I'm willing to do this. I want this. So I want you guys to type that in for me. I want to see who the real investors are on this show. I want to see the ones that are willing to put in what they need to do to make this happen. I want this this. Type that in there. I want this. Type that in there. I want this. There you go, Rudy. There you go, Christy. Here's the thing. And why I want you to type this in is one, I want you to start creating action in your life. I want this. I want this. But to verbalize it also makes you understand that if you're committing it verbally, then the actions will follow. See, there's a lot of people that'll watch this show and they'll watch it and they'll watch it and they won't ever make the commitment. They won't ever verbalize their commitment. They won't ever own the fact that they are the ones that are in charge on how big their life is going to be. And that takes verbal commitment. That takes the ability to speak in command what you want out of life, what you want to become, what you expect from yourself to become. Commitment is crucial to yourself. A lot of people say, well, I'm a committed person, but are you committed to yourself? Are you committed to your journey? Are you committed to saying out loud, I want this? I want this. I want this. And that's where the journey starts. So, um, and you're hearing that because why? I'm your coach. I'm your real estate coach. I'm willing to put the time in to help you grow your business coming to you live every single week to answer questions, to talk to you, to, to engage with you, to grow with you. Because why? I want this for you too. I want this for you too. You ask anybody in my office. Yeah, we, we look, I make a lot of money, okay? I own a bunch of companies. But at the end of the day, I'm really passionate about helping you. I'm passionate about helping you grow. I'm passionate about your stories. I'm passionate about the things that are little bitty pebbles that you think are boulders in your life. And all I need to do is show you that that's just a little pebble. That's it. Just pick it up and throw it away and you'll keep moving forward. But I can't do that if you're not in it with me. You understand? You got to be in it with me. So. All right. Well, let's go back on air in five, four, three, two. Hey, it's Zach Childress, your real estate coach, and I'm back for all of my radio listeners and my podcast listeners. We're talking about bandit signs today, and we're talking about the three simple things to know about bandit signs. The why, the how, and the type. And if you missed it, go back and listen. We talked about the why. We've talked about the how, which is location and process of bandit signs. But let's talk about the types. And, and this is where I think a lot of people also miss the boat when they're doing bandit signs. And listen, my goal today is not to dig into all the different ways of marketing and Lord knows I could give you a hundred different ways to do marketing but I want to just give you something simple something that you could actually take away from this training go do it this weekend and watch the phone ring that's what I want to do I want to keep this business simple for you I want you to understand that little bitty things end up turning into big results and if you can keep it simple too then we're in this together. So, so what are the types? Well, let's talk about that. You could go online and you could order, you know, the yellow we buy house sign. You could order the yellow, you know, cash for your house sign. You could order the red ones, the blue ones, the green ones, the purple ones. You could do all that. But at the end of the day, those are so commercialized and so overused that they don't know the difference between each bandit sign. And you want to set yourself apart. One of the things that I can tell you that I've had the most success with in my time as a real estate investor using bandit signs for the last 16 years is handwritten signs. That's right. It is white corrugated sign board. And then we basically use a Sharpie like this, a big Sharpie, and we write on there, you know. Fast offer, right? Fast offer for your property. Or we also write on there where we're looking for deals. Moving to area. Need to buy 
a house. Because then, do I look like an investor? No! I look like somebody moving to the area just trying to find a deal, need to buy a house. You could use fast offer, you could use need to buy a house, you could use um, cash for your house, you could use we buy houses, even though that whole we buy house brand is starting to you know, get a little too big for their pants and trying to get people not to even use the word, but um, it's stupid, honestly. They're trying to say they can trademark we buy houses, and it's they can't do it and so there's a whole movement right now against we buy houses to eliminate that um but yeah i keep it real personal i keep it real personal some of the best ones i've ever used um handwritten signs are like um moving to area looking for a house call that's it moving to area looking for a house call that's literally all i wrote on there but one of my ninja tricks what is that when we do a sign, we go over in the corners and we make little flowers. You know, we'll go over here and put a little house in with a window and a door. We'll actually use different colors to do that, okay? And the reason being is, is it makes it look like what? Like me and the kids did it. Me and the family sat around and put these together. That's the difference, guys. It's separating yourself from the pack. How do you do that? Be creative. Think outside the box, right? Don't just go buy a hundred yellow We Buy House signs and then stick them on there. No, don't do that. Like, be creative. Be unique about it. The other good thing about the types is that we do is we'll also do ones for buying or for selling. So if I'm looking for buyers in a marketplace, I'll go over to create a bandit sign and I'll write on the bandit sign, must sell. Need to move. And then I'll put my phone number. That's what I'll put on there. I'll stick that out in an area that I know rehabbers are buying in. I'll put that up. Must sell. Need to move. So what happens is when they drive in that neighborhood, they see this sign and they go, oh man, that looks like a motivated seller. So as a wholesaler, I want that sign in every area investors are in. That's the clustering that we teach at the three-day live event, okay? And that, and you'll see it scrolling across the bottom of the screen for those of you that are watching me on Facebook. For those of you that are listening in, that's November 10th through the 12th in Dallas, Texas, okay? Um, that brings me in more buyers than you could even believe because as they're driving to their job site or in the area to go look at a property that they're going to buy, they see that sign, must sell, need to move, 707-247-4248, and boy, does that get the phone ringing. And here again, am I buying a yellow, red, blue, purple, green, or pink? No, I'm using white, handwritten with a big, fat, Sharpie marker or... or this is actually a dry eraser one, but you can get these in a Sharpie marker, okay? Um, that is separating yourself from the pack. That is creating yourself a bandit sign game plan that other people are not doing, okay? Now, listen, before I get off the radio here, and I'm going to keep with you guys on Facebook, I want to talk about the bad from Bandit Sign. Now, listen to me. This is one of my biggest, biggest pet peeves, and that pet peeve is simply this is that if you're going to put bandit signs out and somebody's going to call that bandit sign, you better answer that phone, have a call center to answer that phone, or you better call somebody back. I cannot tell you how many times I've driven around town and see a bandit sign, and I call them. I call every bandit sign because why? Because I want those wholesalers sending me deals that I may not be aware of. I want them. I want everybody in the world sending me deals, boom, 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 so I can pick the ones that are the best to buy. But I can't tell you how many times I call a bandit sign and not nobody answers and nobody calls you back. Like, are you serious right now? <laughs> if you're going to spend the money to buy a bandit sign and you're going to put that bandit sign out there, at least have the all or the concern of your company. To not waste the lead. I'm a buyer and I'm very clear on the phone. Hey, look, I'm a buyer. I pay cash and I can buy anything you bring to me. Keep them coming. They don't even call me back. Why? Because they don't have it set up right. 
They got their bandit signs out there. They're working a job. They're trying to keep up with it, and they have no systems in place. They don't understand the process of running a business. They don't understand rebound calls. They don't understand droppage. They don't understand centers and call centers and follow up. They don't understand. They went to some three day seminar that said, hey, go put bandit signs out and didn't give them any direction. They went and put bandit signs out before they were even ready to put bandit signs out, and now they're probably regretting it. See, there's a time and place for everything. And the first thing is, is you got to get the right education or get with the right coach. That's the first thing you got to do. Good thing you're with me right now. Okay. I'm going to tell you that right away. But on the other side of it is, is if you are a busy individual and you cannot field the calls through the day because you're working a J-O-B, then you need a call center. You need to create a call center that's going to take your calls. Okay. And some of you are like, yeah, but a call center costs me money, man. Well, how much money are you losing by not answering the phone when a buyer calls or a seller calls? You guys are so worried about your expenses and not worried about your revenue that all you do is focus on expenses and you never grow your revenue right? You're trying to live on a nickel dime budget, but you're not worrying about revenue. If you take your focus off your nickel dime budget and start focusing on your revenue, you grow your business. Hey, this is Zach Childress, your real estate coach. I hope you've enjoyed today's session. I'll see you guys next week on our blog talk radio or our podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Facebook. You guys, I hope you heard me right then. I hope you heard me about focus on revenue. Focus on revenue, focus on revenue, focus on revenue. If you'll focus on revenue in any business, your expenses will become irrelevant, okay? Because the more you focus on expenses, the less you focus on revenue and you never grow your business. That's reality, my friends. That's reality. What you got for me, Jill, on Facebook? All right. So Rudy says, I want this. Good. Uh, Christy says, I want this. Matthew says, I want this. Christopher, he is new. Good. He says, I want this. He's new? Mm -hmm. Christopher, welcome to the show, man. Everybody say hi to Christopher. Give him some love, man. You're on the right channel at the right time, and I'm looking forward to keeping you coming back, man. We do this every Tuesday at 1.30 Eastern Time Zone, and we do this every Wednesday at 1.30 Eastern Time Zone. Welcome to the show, my friend. Gerard says, I want this. Ariana says, I want this. Good. Solid L says, totally want this. Angel, do you? <laughs> Angel, you better jump on it, my friend. She going to run off and leave you, man. <laughs> she gonna, you going to wake up one day and she's going to be so busy. You're going to be like, what happened? And she's going to be like, man, I'm flipping houses. Where are you at, Angel? This is funny. I'm going to give you a little, a little personal information. Uh, Ariana says, I want this. Good job, Ariana. Um, my mother said to me the other day, we're talking and she's like, Zach, how come you ain't got you a little sweetheart that you're getting married to? I said, mom, I'm not trying to get married right now. And she said, Jack, you know what your problem is? And I thought, oh Lord, here we go. Right? <laughs> like, What's my problem, mom? She said, you're always running and some people want to sit down and take a break every once in a while. <laughs> I said, well, I can't help it. I'm a runner. She said, I know. Before you know it, somebody's with you. They're sitting down, and you just keep running, and you can't find them anymore. I'm like, well, then they need to run with me. Listen, we can all take a break when we're done. I'm in run mode. Run, run, run. Like, I'm running, right? So. Toby uh, says, I want this. Good job, Toby. Lou says, hey, Zach, this is Lou from New York. My cousin Ross Hamilton sent me over. Great stuff. What? You're, co you're cousins with Ross? Is he really? Is that true? I mean, I don't have a... Where's, let me see. Let me look at... Let me see where <laughs> Lou is. I can't pull up all the comments on here. Where is Lou at? Bring up a picture of Lou. Lou! I see him now. Thanks, Justin. Lou, are you really cousins with Ross? That's crazy. I've known Ross for years. I've been in masterminds with him. I've, I mean, I love the kid. So, um, his his little bio that pops up says that DC is one of his mutual friends, and, it, and he works at Easy Sell Fast Cash House Buyers and Max Returns. There you go, man. He's in the business. Good job, Lou. Thanks for joining us, man. We do it every Tuesday, every Wednesday. I love to have you back. We're always bringing value to the market. So. 
Christy says, you are what you do, not what you say you will do. Take action. Zach will help you grow past your fears and help you get results. That's right. That's right. I love what Toby said. I'm not a sit downer. <laughs> hey, listen, if you're just joining me at the end of the show, I wish you'd have been here at the beginning. We did some great value today. This is Zach Childress, your real estate coach. I love that you're coming on. Even if you're late, even if you're late, I love that you're here, okay? You need to join the page. Go up and like our page. Follow us up here. Share our message. We're always talking about real estate, what you need to be doing, what are the simple processes to real estate, how can you make uh, real estate work for you, how do you get your first deal done, how do you do marketing, how do you talk, how do you communicate, how do you build a business out of this that satisfies your life, how do you replace your income, how do you make extra income from real estate? It's all right here in this show. We do it every single week. We come to you live on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 1.30 Eastern Time Zone because why? I know you need some value and that's why I'm your real real estate coach. So, Jill, what else you got for me? Rudy says, do you have phone scripts? Of course we do. But listen, we got there's people on this feed right now that's been to my two-day immersion where all we do is we teach them how to read the scripts, we teach them how to dial the phone, and we teach them how to find deals. And in two days, you guys ready for this? Everybody sitting down? This will blow you away. In two days, we created over $590,000 in projected profits from literally two days of teaching people how to use the script and how to use the phone. That's what you need to do. Rudy said, do you recommend a call center? Um, on inbound calling, absolutely. If, you, if you're only getting a few leads a day, no, if you can take those calls, Rudy. If you can't take those calls and you're at a work or something like that, you absolutely need some type of call center in place. Uh, Chris, he says, I'm new here. Chris? Where's Chris from? He didn't say where he's from. Chris, welcome to the show, man. Welcome, welcome. We're glad to have you here. We've got lots of great stuff we deliver every single week. We have a great community here, people to work with, people to support, people to encourage you, people to answer questions, and I'm here as your real estate coach to help you grow. Welcome aboard, Chris. Talon says, definitely need this, Zach. Angel says, I need this. <laughs> There's a difference between need and want, right? There is. Uh, Here, let me explain that. We all need to go to the dentist. We all want sugar, right? Which one do you do more? You're killing me with that. No, listen. I, it's, it's a communication platform that every one of you need to rework in your mind. Yes. When you say, I need something, it creates a pain. When you say, I want something, it creates a pleasure. You understand? When we say, I need to go to the dentist... But when we go home, I want that brownie. I want ice cream. It creates pleasure. Need creates pain, right? We don't want what we need. We want the things we want. So you need to want this business, not need this business. Need creates pain and aggravation and, and I got to hurry up and get it over with. No, I want this. I want to grow with this. I want to learn this. I want to engage in this. I want to develop with this. I want this in my life. I want to do it every day. I want to come to you guys every day and help you guys. I want this. I want this. It's not that I need this. I want this. Okay. He said, okay, I want it. <laughs> okay. Good job, Angel. Uh, then Chris, he's from Jacksonville. Oh, Jacksonville, Florida. Man, what a great market you're in, Chris. What a great market. That is a great market. And, um, Talon said, recommend a call center for me. <laughs> um, voiceconnectinc.com. Voice connectinc.com go there the guy who owns it his name's george he's uh it's over in georgia and um you can go under i think it's uh mortgages and real estate tab click on that scroll to the bottom and you'll see my beautiful face in there with all my phone scripts so so carly is late to the party yeah, I know. She's over there training up and looking for some super rock star student advisors to start helping more of our students. So we only take the best, right? Surround yourself by the best. Be slow to bring the best on board. Be quick to get the cancer out of your life. I'm telling you guys, be quick about it. It's all about your choice. It is your choice. That's what it's about, okay? You choose who you surround yourself with. You choose who you leave in your life that shouldn't be in your life. You choose who you grow with. You choose that. No one else does it. Don't point at anybody else. It's all you. Everything's you. 
okay? You made those choices. You live that life, okay? So you need to be on top of that. That's what I'm going to tell you right now. So, guys, listen up. I've been hanging with you for an hour. I love you guys. Do me a favor. Join me more than this show. Get my book. If you have not gotten my book, you need to get My First Deal Playbook. You need to get that on your bookshelf and read it. MyFirstDealPlaybook.com is your pocket guide to real estate success. Yes, that's my new book. It's flying off the shelves right now. We can't keep it in, um, which tells me obviously people love it and it's helping them get to where they need to be. You need to get that book. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I will give you the book for free. All you need to do is pay for the shipping and handling. I think it's like five bucks to get it shipped out to you. That is my gift to you. I will give you the book for free. You just pay for the shipping and handling, okay? On top of that, what I want you to know is, is you need to be at my next event. I literally am running out of tickets. We are almost sold out. Dallas, Texas, November 10th through the 12th. That's where you need to be. It is life changing for people who have been there and witnessed it themselves. I've got one golden ticket left. What is that about? This is where you actually get to come sit up front with me. You get to hang out with me for three days, networking party, dinner with me, breakfast with me. Plus you get recordings from the event and you get coaching from me after the event, okay? That is one golden ticket left. That's going to go out to some lucky person probably today, honestly. I've got three silver tickets left. What's the three silvers? This gives you networking party with me Friday night plus front of the room seating and some other cool stuff. Um, uh, you only get three of those. And here is, <laughs> this is how amazing our students are. Out of all the seats, our general admission, we literally only have three, we only have six general admission tickets left. That's it. No, seven, three, six, seven. We have seven general admission tickets left. Let me explain that to you. They're $97 fully refundable. That's right. You pay the $97 to secure your seat so that we know we can bring enough materials, scripts, contracts, and to make sure we have enough room for you at the event. And after the three days, you basically get your $97 back. Now, here's what I'm going to do. For everybody who registers for this event, you get one of the seven general admissions, one of the three silver VIPs, or one of the golds. When you come to the event and you get trained, I'm going to give you a pre-approval access to a half a million dollars for your investing business. That's right. I'm going to give you pre-approval for up to a half a million dollars in your investing business. So therefore, if you go out and find a deal and you want to execute on it, you go in through our funding partners and you'll be pre-approved for up to a half a million dollars to buy real estate. That's my gift to you guys. So, All right, we'll answer a couple more questions and then I'm gonna run. Diana, she says, I want this. I'm new to the family from Tucson, Arizona. Diana, welcome, welcome to the family. Awesome, I'm excited to have you here. I own a business out in Arizona in Phoenix. Um, I've got a partner out there. We own a company together. It's a, it's a great little market. Happy to have you on here, Diana. Happy to have you. Keep coming back. We do it every Tuesday and Wednesday at 1.30 Eastern time zone. Um, Chris says, how do I get the book? And I have to give a shout out to Christy because she said, Chris, I think it is myfirstdealplaybook.com. That's right, Christy. Way to go, Christy. Share the love with him. He, she's absolutely right. You go to myfirstdealplaybook.com. Um, Raid says, hi, I'm new here, ready for this life changing. Man, Raid, welcome. I'm excited for all the new people coming on board. Yes, we do it every Tuesday and Wednesday at 1.30 Eastern time zone. Listen, you guys are doing great. Um, you're doing great. I love the comments. I love that you guys are making some waves here today. Do me a favor, share this. Let other people hear the message. Let it be known. Let it be heard that you're in this to learn and you're in this to share this message with other people. That's the biggest reward you'll ever get in life. You start sharing it with other people and they start putting it into practice. That's a great gift. That's, that's called what? What's that called? Can I tell them? Paying it forward. Oh, Paying I was going to say making ripples. That is making ripples too. Good job, <laughs> Joe. That is. What else we got? Uh, Toby says, what about empty or abandoned property? Well, what about them, Toby? You, you going to ask me that at the end of the show today? Come on, Toby. Listen, we actually, here's what's beautiful about that question, Toby, is next week, we're talking about what? Driving for? Driving for Dallas. D driving for oh, dollars. And that's where we're going to be talking about vacant and abandoned properties. So good segue, Toby. That is next Tuesday. Next Tuesday we're talking about that, Toby. 
All right, listen, guys, if you, if you received my message today and you liked it, I want you to type in the comments, yes, or type something like good message, or type something like I'm going to do this. Type something in there so that I know you guys are getting it, and I know that you received it, and that you're going to do something with the information, like I got this, or I'm going to do this. Type that in for me. I want to see it. 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 I got this. I'm going to do this. Do that for me. Type it in for me. Let me know you got my message today. I just thought about that. Good job, Toby. Um, right. Type it in. Right. He says, what do you think about Richmond, Virginia market? I think Richmond, Virginia market has certain pockets. Okay. You got real high end areas and then you got real low ends. If you're going to wholesale, focus on wholesaling to landlord investors. Okay. Angel. Hell yeah. <laughs> My New Yorker, my New Yorker in the house. <laughs> Susan just texted me. I got this. Did she? <laughs> yeah. Susan. Susan, I told you to put it in the comments. You texted <laughs> me about it. <laughs> so Talon, put it in the comments. Talon says, thank you, Zach. Got your message. Good job, Talon. I'm glad you received my message today. Because if you're paying attention, my message today wasn't so much the bandit signs as it was the other stuff I was sharing with you about this is your choice and getting in the game and not making excuses. That was the message I'm talking about. So, all right, guys, listen, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Thanks for being on here with me. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. We got a dig deeper class tomorrow and um, it'll be very important. So be there tomorrow. If I didn't answer your question today because of all the comments, Come back tomorrow. Put it in there. Let's keep you engaged. Let's keep you learning. Let's keep building a business together, okay? This is Zach Childress and the lovely Jill, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.